Welcome to our Google AdWords 102 tutorial. In part 6, we'll estimate our AdWords traffic. In this video, we'll look at the Google AdWords Traffic Estimator tool. Google AdWords offers you a tool that can be used to estimate how much traffic you can potentially get from certain keywords, and you can approach this tool two different ways. First of all, if we go into our Antique Tables campaign and look at the more heavily trafficked ad group, which is the Antique Tables ad group, at the ad group level, if you have the Keyword tab selected and click on Edit Keywords, the Keyword Editing screen appears and you can, as you know, add, delete, or edit keyword phrases here. And looking at your list of keyword phrases, you can estimate how much traffic they'll get. Before you do an estimate, you can, of course, add more keywords if you wish to see what sort of effect they would have on your overall traffic for this ad group. So let's estimate search traffic. And this is what it shows. It presents the information in table format with the column on the left showing the keywords and minimum bids. So there's a keyword. The minimum bid is currently four cents. And it tells us that it overlaps with antique oak table as a phrase match because there is some duplication between the keyword phrases we've selected. Of course, that's been deliberate because I often like to include all three of the matching options, broad match, phrase match, and exact match. Anyway, there are the keywords. In the second column, we find maximum cost per click, which in this instance is six cents across all keywords. This column also tells us the status of the keywords, and as you can see, all are active. Usefully, the next column gives us a broad estimation of search volume. The more green there is in the bar, the more volume there is for this search phrase. In other words, the more green here, the more people there are online searching for that keyword phrase. So we see that this isn't all that popular a phrase. Antique oak tables isn't popular at all. Antique table is somewhat more popular. And looking at all of them, we see that none of them really break the halfway barrier. So as a broad approximation, they're probably about 40% popular, whatever that means in Google's terminology. Remember that Google doesn't actually give you any firm figures. In the next column is estimated average cost per click, and it gives us some estimates, which in this case is from four to six cents. And estimated ad position for all of these, seven to 10, 11 to 15, 11 to 15, and so on. So initially, this just gives you an overview of information related to estimation of traffic volume, or how much traffic there is for this keyword phrase, the estimated cost per click, and where you might expect the ad to appear in the results. What you see here is definitely not set in stone. It's just a broad estimation, so don't take this as too rigid at all. But you may find this information somewhat useful, although really you have to run these keywords for yourself to get firm figures for your business. Google's just attempting to estimate this material more or less in broad strokes for your information only. Note that just above the table, it says that without budget limitations, as an average cost per click of four to six cents, these keywords could potentially generate four to six clicks per day, which could cost you one dollar. Click here to show potential clicks in the table below. Click that. And it adds another column, potential clicks per day, four to six, at potential cost per day, a dollar. Then it breaks it down per keyword. So this keyword, antique oak table, as a broad match, zero clicks. Antique table, as a broad match, is between two and four clicks per day, according to this estimate. Antique tables, one click a day here. And again, 
Google estimates between four and six clicks a day in total with about a dollar a day cost as an estimate. Interestingly, you can change the cost per click in this table. Let's do that now. Scroll down. Here's the keyword editing area. If you change the maximum cost per click, let's change that and put it as high as $2. Then if we click on this estimate search traffic bar, but we haven't actually made this change yet. We're still just estimating and we haven't saved the changes and raised the CPC to $2 for this ad group. So you aren't actually spending any more money. We're just at the estimate state. So we estimate search traffic. Oops, <laughs> my mistake. As you can see here, the CPC must not be greater than your campaign's daily budget of a dollar. So let's change this to a dollar. Now we'll click again on Estimate Search Traffic and let's see what it gives us. Note here that the system tells us that our keyword and maximum cost per click changes have not been saved and we can continue making changes and recalculating our estimates. Now, without budget limitations, our average cost per click will probably run somewhere in the 48 to 64 cent range, and these keywords could potentially generate 59 to 61 clicks per day, which would cost 30 to 40 dollars. So there's a huge difference there from our previous estimate. You can see that the table has been updated accordingly. This column here, potential clicks per day, was at 4 to 6, and now it's been updated to 59 to 61. That's a huge increase in potential traffic. It gives you the breakdown per keyword as well. This one was zero, and now it's just one click per day. But you can see that the big changes happen here. The antique table broad match was two to four clicks a day at six cents a click, and now it's at an estimate of 23 clicks per day at between 47 and 62 cents per click. The original position was estimated at 11 to 15, and now at this price, Google says it's estimated at between the first and third position. Again, a huge difference. Here, antique tables as a broad match was at 4 to 6 cents, but making our change would raise it to an estimated 54 to 71 cents. It was in position 11 to 15, and now it would be in position 1 to 3. And you've gone from one click a day to 26 or 27 clicks. So you can see that this is a very useful tool to estimate your traffic as you change your bid pricing. Again, this is just an estimate, but when you've got some numbers that you like the looks of, you can, if you wish, just save changes. I'm not going to save the changes at this time because this is just a demo account and I'd rather not spend 60 cents per click, but you do get the idea. Just save the changes when you're done, or if you change your mind, just click on Cancel. And we're back where we were before in the ad group. Another way of using the Traffic Estimator tool is a slightly different approach. If you go to Tools and go to the Optimize your ads section. We want the traffic estimator. Here, you're not estimating traffic for an existing ad group. You're estimating traffic for keywords you're typing in. You can add keywords or keyword phrases, one per line as it says, and you can do it in broad match, exact match, phrase match, and negative match formats. For this example, I'll just put in a broad match for a very expensive and highly trafficked term, debt consolidation. Now we'll go with US dollars, daily budget, let's say $1,000 maximum, English for the language, Countries and territories, I'm going with the largest market, the United States. 
and add that selection, continue, and let's see what it gives us. Keyword, broad match, debt consolidation, search volume pretty high as you can see. It seems to be around the 70% mark, but again that's just a visual representation and we can't tell at all how that relates to actual numbers. We do see that estimated average cost per click is very high, as you can see. It's expensive to play in this market. Estimated ad positions are 1 to 3, high as well. And even for $20 or $30 per click, you're only going to get an estimated clicks per day of 26 to 33, which isn't a huge volume. And our estimated cost per day is between $540 and $1,000. As you can see, this is a very expensive market, but an expensive market is often a clue that there's a lot of money to be made there as well. If there are people competing in this market and paying this kind of money per click, it's not crazy to make the assumption that others have tested their results and they're still making money. Obviously, the financial services markets are very competitive and there's a lot of money in the market in debt consolidation loans, mortgages, etc., and that's reflected here. Again, we can revise settings and make changes if we want. For example, let's go with Remortgage. Stick with US dollars. Stick with $1,000 daily budget. Or better yet, this is optional, so let's just remove that and stay with English and the U.S. and continue. Actually, it's quite a bit lower than the last example. Search volume is maybe 40% if you consider the whole bar as 100%. And we're right around $20 per click. You'd be positioned at 1 to 3 and only an estimated 7 clicks per day and only around $150 a day spent. So you can see that this can be quite useful if you're doing market research or considering moving into new markets or testing certain keywords. Just remember to take all these traffic estimates and in fact all the estimations that Google gives you with a grain of salt. Nevertheless, they can be excellent tools to test markets and keywords before you actually dive in and begin spending money on your advertising campaign.